city in the desert where the people are coming. Anywhere else in the world it takes 20 years to set up a functioning community. We did it in months. It is now coming to real life. People have walked through the desert for seven kilometers and just imagine you're a woman with say four or five children uh, carrying your belongings. Like we have achieved a lot together, but there's still a lot we need to improve every day. Basically what they do, they steal the, uh, the fence posts or they are geniuses. I mean, they can also carry these, these caravans, these prefabs. If there are problems, the problems will, will come to us. We have to be here on the front line as much as possible, because that's our job. It's another day in Zatri. Only five delegations coming, quite famous people, um, which we, we have to be careful, we can't really announce it in advance, so we, it's about, okay. I have to be beautiful for all the delegations coming in the coming days. Can you tell us who might be Ah, no, 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 that's all secret. But every day we have somebody coming. Because that's the place where you can see, feel and touch what's going on in Syria. This is Syria. Very good. How much is it? Okay. My minimum. Okay. That's very nice. I come back. Thank you. It's very good. Thank you. Congratulations. I was so happy. I'm so happy. Thank when you. I heard about it. I'm always happy to see you. Honestly, I cannot thank you enough for what your organization has uh, done before. It is a visit to, uh, to celebrate World Refugee Day here in Jordan and to try to show as much as possible to the world what Jordan is doing in support to the refugees. Hello. Hello! Welcome! In good shape? Yes, great. Uh, excellent. So we'll be doing uh, all the refugees we have What you do is amazing and I'm very, very honored to be a small part of it. And when I see people cross the border and they and I see them entering a tent that says UNHCR or registration center, I know that they're safe and I know their people care about them. So so I work for you and I hope I do a good job while I'm here. And I'll do my best. And uh, you let me know if I, uh, I mess up or what we need to do next. <laughs> All right? <laughs> The challenge for tomorrow is that we often just have to have to deal with the emergency. We not only have a thousand plus refugees coming across tonight, we've also got the High Commissioner, the Special Envoy, the Norwegian Foreign Minister. And World Refugee Day to deal with. How do we mould World Refugee Day uh, celebrating? If you can celebrate World Refugee Day, but if you can celebrate the resilience, the um, the, the the survival of, of refugees, the um, the generosity of the Jordanians, but how do you put that in the whole mix of making sure that everything runs? And then you've got all the anxiety of 130,000 refugees in the camp. It's a very combustible mix. Tomorrow um, is World Refugee Day. So we'll be going to Zartri. We'll probably be seeing in Zartri the people who, are, who have just fled across the border tonight. Was she going to school before she came across? Do you want to go to school in Jordan? The children uh, as well. I cannot just describe how the children would, would feel. It's, it's, it's indescribable. Yeah. That was artillery.